Hello, good morning and welcome to your Wednesday this morning. When he just looked down, because we neither of us were standing on the right mark, and, uh, and said, oh, it's a new floor. It's a new floor. Well, on Monday we obviously had Mary Poppins, so I was looking at the sky, because oh, I yeah, flew well, in. you were in it. I know it was, and so this time mm. we're here, and it's the first time you sort of look around, you go, oh, yes, you start noticing different things. Yeah, what enough. a lovely new floor. There's the mark, by the way. <laughs> There's the mark. I'm on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoops. Stand outside. First of all, the telly lamp. Stand anyway. where you're meant to. <laughs> when have we ever done that? <laughs> that so uh, loads coming up. Uh, but we're, we're starting with something that really made us chuckle this morning. Yes. Take a look at this road sign outside a school in Brighton oh. where it appears <laughs> there's been a little bit of a spelling mistake. Oh, I mean, of all the places to do it as well. I mean, oh, yeah, it doesn't. I was saying it still says school, but it doesn't, does it? It says shh, cool. But maybe that's what they were going yeah, for. Be cool. cool. Just cool. cool. Cool at school. Well, obviously, we asked you if you'd spot any clangers before the show. And uh, yes, you have. They're very good. Amanda said, um, We bought this bunting for my son's birthday party and didn't realise that it actually spelt out Harpy Biff Day. <laughs> <laughs> CJ says, This sign is saying turn <gasps> left, but the arrow is pointing right. Not very helpful. Uh, not Jimmy good. says, Used to see this on my work, on my way to work every day. Hello. <laughs> Does somebody just put the S round the wrong way? Well, that's not even an S, is it? Even if you turn it the right it's way around, that's not an S. Round the wrong way, isn't it? This is really confusing. I actually wouldn't know what to do here. Gary in, says, in Berkhamsted, Hertfordshire, directional arrows are painted the wrong way round on that this roundabout. That would do your head in, wouldn't it? Well, I, I say wouldn't. that because... Well, I'm not very good with... This is an awful thing to admit. I'm not very good with roundabouts anyway. And sometimes I have been known... <laughs> to sit there and wait for someone to come along so then I know which way to go around. Or I just go straight over the middle. But you can't do that on the big ones. They not don't, they don't like that. Especially not, the ones, especially not the ones that have got grass and trees Yeah, and they stuff. don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mark says uh, they can claim it's not a mistake, but my city has some very unusual sights. Oh, important, important sign. sign. Minor sign. <laughs> Barry says this road marking says bust up. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Maybe that's the place you go for a fight. Yeah, yes, yes. At least you know where to go. <laughs> um, and not my kind of holiday, says uh, Kiara, boarding, but uh, maybe for others, bed and breast. Oh, <laughs> it does say adult only. Someone's <laughs> having a laugh there, I yeah. think. I think they are. Thank you uh, for this. Right, thank you for those. If there's any more, uh, do send them in. <laughs> We've got some time, we'll, we'll do them a little bit later. Now, on with the show, here's what's coming up. Evil does not sleep. <laughs> Matilda Wormwood. Criminals like you need a real lesson. Hey, it's the Sanderson sisters. I bet you're looking for the stage. Always. Oh, wow. Oh, we've waited a long time yeah, for that. Haven't so we? many films and TV shows to watch this awesome. We've asked Sam Rubin to help pick out the, the ones that should be at the top of your list, and we'll be talking about those uh, about 10 past 11. Beauty journalist Nadine Baggett is back in the studio today. It's all about anti-aging. Good morning to you, Nadine. What have you got? Good morning. I know it can be confusing, but I've got the four simple steps all anybody needs to anti-age, healthy, happy skin, all available on the high street as well. Lovely. Lovely. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll see you in a bit uh, with Beauty Katona. In the kitchen, there's another twist on an Indian classic. Oh, I've smells, missed you. <laughs> it smells amazing, and I can't wait... Actually, we do have to wait until the end of the right show. Right, the end of the show, yeah. It's like it, the carrot dangling for us. It really is so nice to cook for you again. And the weather's turning, so it's a kind of, you know, cockle-warming meatball madras. So lots of flavour and lots of warmth and aromas. That's what this is about. Thank you. Amazing. Can't wait for that. So all of that on the way, plus all of this, we find out why the Queen of Shops, Mary Portis, is calling time on big businesses. Excessive profits. She joins us with a take on the cost of living crisis. That's at 10.40. Martin Lewis returns with more unmissable advice at 10.55. And the ever-stylish Gok whisks us off to the fashion capital of Europe. He's in Paris at 11.35. Also today, former Embarrassing Bodies GP Dr Pixie is with us and uh, we'll be taking your calls on the things that you might not want to talk to your own doctor about, although Pixie will discuss in a few moments the fact that you can talk to your doctor about yeah, anything because they've seen it all before. How can you help, Pixie? I really have seen it all before, so... Give us a call. Whatever you're worried about, don't be embarrassed, don't be ashamed. Thank OK, you. and you can do that. You can give us a call for free on 08030 40 44 or download our free This Morning app to get involved. Please get in touch by 11.15 today and you must be 18 or over. Right, before...